Mr. Malin, coach of the girls hockey team here at Chisago Lakes High School. What are your thoughts and feelings on underage drinking? In regards to athletes or everybody? Just overall. Overall? Oh, well, you know, there's you know, there's a reason there's a legal drinking age. Um, you know, there's you know, high school athlete students, their brains are still develop developing, and there's research out there that if, if they consume alcohol at this develop developmental stage in their life, uh, it affects the brain development. Officer Corey Spencer of LAPD and talk about underage drinking. Well, are from a uh, parent's standpoint, where are you and from a police standpoint? Uh, from, from a parent's standpoint, I'm not a parent myself, but I would think that uh, it would be concerning if I had a child that was participating in underage drinking because I know that the effects of alcohol uh, in and of themselves causes impaired judgment. Uh, and it can cause people to make decisions that they normally wouldn't make. Uh, and if it was a child that's involved in that, uh, I would say that they, that they would be taking some unnecessary risks and they would be uh, in danger of hurting themselves or others. Uh, and in the world that kids are not used to making decisions for themselves, uh, that becomes more dangerous for them and for others as well. From a law enforcement standpoint, I think that uh, the laws are created to safeguard society, uh, and it kind of coincides with my opinion of how parents feel. Uh, it's not healthy for kids to drink. They're still developing. Uh, your body doesn't stop growing. Your brain doesn't stop developing until you're 25 or so. So the drinking age is 21. Uh, I don't think that that uh, is particularly uh, high enough um, because people start to drink at that age just because it becomes legal for them to do so doesn't mean that they're going to make the right choices when they do start drinking. Yeah. So if you were to bust a party, does everybody there get breathalyzed? Or just the people that you can tell obviously are inebriated? When we go to an underage drinking party, generally uh, it starts out as a loud music complaint. Um, or some type of behavior is coming out of that that someone calls it in. We don't go around and look for parties. Because it's hit or miss. Yeah, because we don't have suspicion. I don't have a reasonable suspicion or probable cause to go and, and search a random house uh, for underage drinking. Uh, the reason that we go and find these places are, like I said before, they're, no, they're, doing, some, they're, they're doing something that's causing a complaint. They're doing something that's a nuisance to somebody else. Um, when we go there, and I will note that someone does not appear to be 21, I will ask them for their identification. And if they're not 21 and I can smell the alcohol, or if I see that people are drinking, uh, yes, then everybody gets, uh, it's called a preliminary breath test, or a PBT, and it's a handheld machine. Um, most times, kids have the misconception that they don't have to do that. Well, they don't have to test. But if I can smell alcohol on you, that's all that I need. That gives um, you enough. It, it, that's all that I need to, to be able to issue a citation for that violation. I've heard through the grapevine that if you are at a party and the do, cops do come, if you don't open up the door, they don't have a right to come in. But couldn't you just call the judge or something and get a warrant to go in? There's, yeah, there's that's another misconception. If I if I was called there for a loud noise complaint and I see kids inside, drinking, like through the window, I can see that there is alcohol inside. They don't I don't have to see them drinking, but I can see that I can identify a student. It's a lot easier for me because I'm a school resource officer, so I know the kids. If I see a student. Uh, I can look through a window and say, oh, that person's not 21 and there's been drinking going on in there. And all of a sudden, the, the, all the lights get shut off and everybody runs into an upstairs room, room or a closet or something. Chances are that, yeah, I know that they're playing games and that's the games that they play, that's fine. And then we will. We'll get more officers there. We'll surround the house to make sure that nobody runs. And I'll wake a judge up in the middle of the night uh, to get a telephonic search warrant. All right, so 
it's not too much to go out of the way to get a warrant done. No, or I can call the homeowner, which is generally the parents, and oh, they can give true. me consent to go in. Hi, Matt McMahon here with Brandon Hoyt and Trevor Thunberg, Saga Lakes High School. What is your guys' opinions on underage drinking? Brandon, we'll start with you. I think it's bad if you're not responsible about it, but I think it's okay if you drink responsibly. Define responsibly. I'm not driving around on Highway 8 and messing around. Pretty much just like that. Just being smart about it. <laughs> yeah, but. Then there's the advocate that's going to say, your brain hasn't fully matured yet. How can you be smart about intoxicating yourself if your brain hasn't fully matured yet and you can't make the decisions? Well, just don't get blacked out drunk. Just drink a little bit. Trevor, how about you? Your opinion? I don't know. Uh, like Brandon said, drink responsibly. Don't like go mess around, drive your car. Or don't get blacked out wasted and go in the ditch and pretty much, yeah, don't do anything stupid. Alright, so uh, what's your guys' experiences? Trevor, let's just start with you. Uh, pretty much every weekend I drink, pretty much, uh, I haven't got a minor or anything like that yet, but... Have you been close? Uh, a few times, yeah, I've actually had to blow four times. I haven't gotten caught yet, so. Do you, did you do it much during your athletic career here at the high school? During football, did you do it much? Sometimes during the football season, but not, not too often. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> Trevor, what do, what do your parents think about underage drinking? And Well, my mom, she's like, as long as I don't know about it, hear about it, then I'm not gonna really get hurt by it, but she still doesn't like it at all. She just turns a blind eye almost. Yeah, and my dad is definitely against it. How about you, Brandon? What's your experiences? I got minor once. Mother wasn't too happy about it. So it wasn't really worth it. Because I kinda got grounded for a while. Uh, how did you get caught? Well, I don't know. The cops just came when I was outside taking a piss. <laughs> So you're doing two illegal things at once? Oh, uh, it was in someone's backyard. Yeah, it's still public urination. <laughs> um, I wouldn't consider that. It was dark out and nobody could see anything. So, what do your parents think about underage drinking? Uh, they don't really, they're not too fond of underage drinking. Did, what exactly did she do to you when you got caught? She grounded me, and she was really pissed. I heard she took your boots. Is this true? Yes. 